Fatima. I'm really excited that you're here for another video. Today's video, I am comparing my Louis Vuitton favorite MM versus my Louis Vuitton favorite PM. Um, and if you're interested and wanting to know what I have to say about both bags, please stay tuned. If you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. And if you're a new, welcome to Simply Fatima where we talk about all things luxury handbags. If you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and smash that subscription button. Also give this video a thumbs up and also make sure to turn on your post notifications so that you will never miss an upload from me. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So today I am going to be talking about my Louis Vuitton favorite PM and my Louis Vuitton favorite MM in both monogram canvas and damier ebean canvas. So let's get right. Well, first of all, let me just go ahead and disclose that all the bag specs are going to be in the description box and um, in the description box down below. Both of these handbags have been discontinued by Louis Vuitton, but Louis Vuitton came out with a new model back in, ooh, was that 2020, 2021? The years are just meshing together at this point. But I am gonna be looking down at my phone because I do have specific notes that I want to cover in today's video. So the Louis Vuitton favorites were designed by Louis Vuitton in 2005. They were discontinued around 20, 17 2018 2018 is when i purchased this handbag um and this um favorite and damia e bean um canvas was the last of the store's inventory when i purchased it and that was in april of 2018 because i checked my purchase history this cutie right here the mm i ended up having to buy off the pre-loved market because again this bag is discontinued um in 2020 they came out with the newer model um favorite actually it was 2021 yeah it was 2021 when they came out with the new model of the favorite that i'm not a huge fan of i purchased this off the pre-loved market um i purchased this off the real real it is an authentic handbag i checked got it authenticated and it is authentic um this bag was just basically in pristine condition the person who previously owned this bag never really wore it or carried it and so it was in really great condition it came with its original dust bag and box and the box was one of those um older louis vuitton brown boxes that my speedy 30 came in and so that's this bag it did not come with its vachetta strap but that's okay um but yeah this is the mm size right here this is the louis vuitton monogram mm favorite i fell in love with the mm favorite when i watched some youtube videos Shay Whitney has some videos on this handbag. Um, what sold me was how much items she could put inside of this bag and the strap option that she uses with her monogram favorite bag. Um, and it was some years before I fell in love with the monogram favorite because at the time of when I purchased my Damier E. Bean favorite, I was more in love with the Damier E. Bean canvas than I was with monogram canvas, even though I had a monogram Speedy and a monogram Neverfull. It was just something, no, I didn't get the monogram Neverfull until after I had purchased my Damier E. Bean Neverfull. So at the time, I only had one monogram piece, which was my Speedy 30, and then I purchased, um, the South Banks and Damia E. Bean, and then I purchased this um, a favorite in Damia E. Bean. Damia E. Bean was my favorite bag, I mean, my favorite canvas, just because of the classiness and the sleekness um, that it presented itself. Um, and so I purchased the favorite PM. Um, it was the last in the Louis Vuitton's inventory at the Louis Vuitton and Saks Fifths at Phipps Plaza. It was the last one in the state of Georgia and I was able to pick up this bag. Um, shameless plug, if you check out my last video of me talking about um, five bags that have sentimental value to me and why, you will see why this bag holds so much sentimental value and I give you the background story of this bag and all of that. Anyway, back to this bag. 
so this is the PM this is a smaller size it only comes in two sizes um, the favorite does come in a trifecta um, with both sizes so you can get a PM monogram a Damier e Bean and a Damier Azure you can also get a monogram MM Damier e Bean MM and Azure MM okay so this Damier e Bean um, a favorite has been showcased on my channel plenty of times um, and I know I did a comparison video between this and the uh, pochette accessoire and they're pretty much about the same size they both of these bags come with magnetic closures a lot of people sold their favorites because they claim that the magnetic closure was not strong enough um, and that the bag would just flop open X Y and Z but I've never had any issues with my magnetic closure my magnetic closure works perfectly fine it's still very strong even though I bought this bag pre-love this magnetic closure is still very strong on my MM um, and so I haven't had any problems with both bags with my magnetic closure with the Damier E. Bean bag you have the beautiful cherry lined interior that all Damia E. Bean bags come with unless you get a Neverfull and you choose the rose pink. Um, so this is the inside of my bag. Still in really great condition and I've had it since 2018. It has a back pocket back here and this bag can be worn in several different ways. You can wear this bag as a crossbody, a shoulder bag, or a clutch. Um, you can detach the D-ring on this side. So the, so the straps, the gold chain is not detachable. You can take the leather straps off of these bags, um, but the gold chain a must stay. Um, you can take the leather straps off and attach the D-ring to the gold chain and you will have like a wristlet. You can carry it as a wristlet. You can carry it as a shoulder bag like so. You can just put it on your shoulder like that. Or you can wear it as a crossbody bag. I am 5'3 and my crossbody, um, at, with the length of it being as a crossbody bag, it stops right at my hip like it stops right at my hip and it is the perfect height for me the leather strap is not adjustable it is detachable but not adjustable um, and the gold chain is not detachable and is not adjustable you can wear the gold chain as a pretty little accessory when you wear it as a crossbody bag um, you can just have it like tucked underneath the favorite flap like that you can have the gold chain dangle like that you can have the gold chain dangle in front like how you with the multi pochette or you can just you know when you want to wear it as a shoulder bag you can wear it as a shoulder bag and then if you decide mid mid air and run that you want to wear it as a crossbody bag you can wear it as a crossbody bag it's completely fine you can wear it however you like my mm bag i wear as a shoulder bag because when i purchased this handbag it did not come with its vachetta strap which i'm completely okay with that because when i want to convert it to a crossbody bag i take my monogram bandolier strap and attach it to the bag and then it becomes a crossbody bag i prefer the monogram canvas favorite with a monogram canvas strap instead of the vachetta but the possibilities are endless i've seen people wear their multi pochette um web strap with this handbag um i've seen people get really creative with these bags um so that's that um, let me just take you on a tour. Let me finish taking you on a tour of the Damia E. Bean. So again, this is the front of the bag. Um, here is one of the sides and it's both sides are cinched in, but that doesn't take away from how much it can hold. And then here is the back um, and it has like two little gold Louis Vuitton rivets with nice little stitching along the sides and bottom. And then here's the other side where I say again it's cinched in but it doesn't take away from how much the bag can hold. So that is the favorite Damier Ebene PM. So 
The monogram favorite has been my current bag that I've recently been carrying for the past week. Again, I've been carrying it as a shoulder bag with the gold chain. Um, and it is such an easy and convenient errand running bag. Um, I usually typically carry the PM favorite as an evening clutch or um, when I'm going to nice events, I typically grab for that bag just because it holds just enough stuff that I don't feel like I'm not carrying enough and that I'm not carrying too much. But my MM is actually my favorite when it comes to errand running because it holds a lot of things, but then it, you don't feel like your weight overwhelmingly weighed down which I also appreciate. So the interior of the Damier Bean I showed you and it's that beautiful cherry red interior. Well with this, excuse my bag because again, I, <laughs> this is the bag that I am currently carrying and I have been carrying for the past week. Um, but there's things in here and it's a bit messy, but just disregard that. So again, like how I was saying, the Damier E Bean, um, favorite had the beautiful um cherry red interior this one is a burgundy and this one also has a back pocket and um the little vachetta tab on the inside and this bag is phenomenal again it holds a lot um let me just move that receipt out the way this is everything that i have packed it's very disorganized because i did some extreme errand running yesterday and i also had to work saturday um and so it was me working a half a day saturday and running errands my bag pretty much got trashed but my bag is usually not this chaotic but in here i have like my card holder i have a charger um some gum right here i have my mini pochette chapstick hand cream natural deodorant i just have it all i'm gonna show everything that fits in this bag in my pm size bag um in a few minutes but this is the front of the monogram um the monogram favorite there we go this bag also have the side singed in um but again like i said it doesn't take away from the capacity of the bag this bag still has the louis vuitton rivets with the stitching and just like my pm bag and again the other side and i never showed you the bottom of the other bag which i will but here is the bottom here is the top and here is the bottom and here is the top um again like i said this bag did not come with its fachetta strap but that's okay because i enjoy using my monogram bandolier strap so as i'm taking things out of this bag to show you what fits inside of this cutie um just so you can see and compare like what every what all holds in this bag so one of my things that I always have to take with me that I at least try to take with me on the day to day is my mini pochette and this is my monogram mini pochette um, and this was in my MM favorite and so we're just going to see if it fits inside of our Dami E Bean PM favorite. So here's the bag and here's the mini pochette. The mini pochette takes up quite a bit of space but again this bag is perfect for like if you are only gonna do like short quick errands or you're hanging out at a theme park or you're going to a concert or you're going out to dinner with some friends like it's not intended to hold so much things um, and then I'm gonna share with you all later on in the video like how I carry these bags when I'm not using them as clutches so this is gum we're gonna place the gum right in there I always need my card holder because you need money nowadays so card holder reverse a monogram card holder again that card holder does not compare to my Saint Laurent card holders I love Saint Laurent small leather goods they're just they're just so good and then I have cell phone charger and then I have my airpods we're gonna stick that in the corner oh and then my iPhone this is the iPhone 10 um, with the case 
So we're gonna incorporate that. And that is everything will fit because I don't want to like overstretch her out, but we have a cell phone charger, a pack of gum, mini pushette, cell phone, iPhone 10, and AirPods. And she closes up just like that. She's not closed perfectly just because we have so much stuff stuffed in her. But if I took out my phone, it closes perfectly and the magnet is still very, very strong. Um, but as you can see, the MM still holds more than the PM. You see all of my trash in there. I still have like gum, chapstick, loose change, and some receipts. But I'm going to put my mini pochette back in here and you see the mini pochette fits so nicely in there and it's like so much room still left behind and then um a pack of gum and my card holder you see it just goes right in there so nicely still have a lot of space and then my cell phone charger um goes right in there and my AirPods go right in there. And then my iPhone 10 with case fits perfectly in there. And so that's everything inside of the MM. And then you close that bad boy. And the magnetic closure is perfectly shut. It is a perfect handbag. Um, just keep in mind, the more you put inside of both these bags, the more weighted they will become and because the chain strap is a little bit more smaller. It can dig into your skin. Same goes for same goes for the leather strap because it's a thin strap. It can dig into your skin. Um, and so that's why I enjoy wearing a thicker strap with my um, favorites because it makes wearing the bag more comfortable. So how I use both of my bags. Like I said, for my PM, I use this bag as a evening clutch mainly, or if I'm carrying one of my larger bags, like let's say my Neverfull or Graceful or like my Speedy 30, I use this bag as a catch-all just because, or like in my work bag, just because I have a larger tote bag, that doesn't necessarily mean that if I'm carrying my larger tote bag to work, that I want to carry that larger tote back to lunch, to dinner. So I usually keep all of my important things like wallet, um, other little necessities that you keep in a purse in this bag and then stick it inside of my tote. And then so when it's time for me to go grab lunch or something, I can just reach for this instead of reaching for my larger tote um, to carry out to lunch with me um if i am carrying my larger tote and that's the bag that i'm going to carry throughout the day then i will put a lot of my catch-all items like roll-on perfume um travel deodorant travel toothbrush that sort of thing inside of here and it acts as a catch-all for me um so that is one way that i do use my dami ebean pm favorite now my monogram favorite, I use this as a shoulder bag slash crossbody bag when I'm running errands. Um, again, if I am traveling, I would use this as a catch-all in my larger travel totes just because it can hold so much. And um, once you get to your final destination, like you can just easily reach for this bag and carry it and not have to worry about carrying your larger travel tote or trying to like dig through your larger travel tote to put a purse together. Um, your purse is already made and created. So I like to wear this bag, crossbody shoulder bag, as a catch-all. Um, and then just like a normal running errands bag it holds a lot it's easy access to get in especially when it's crossbody um, and even when it's not crossbody it's still an easy bag to get in but it's easier when it is a crossbody because it holds so much um, and it is a very carefree casual bag um, again all the bag descriptions will be in the description box down below or the bag specs um, I will link any of these bags that I find off the pre-love market because this is where you can find a favorite that looks like this now. You can buy them off a of Reback, Fashion File, um, Vestire Collective, um, what's another? Oh, The Real Real, 
places of those natures you can um, find these beautiful bags in really good condition if I can find some in pretty good condition at reasonable prices I will link them in the description box down below so just check out there um, and yeah and hopefully I haven't missed anything if I've missed anything on these two favorites just let me know in the comment section down below if you own a favorite by louis vuitton let me know even if you own a new model let me know your thoughts about the new model favorite i'm still a fan of the old model and i will be a fan for like ever now it would be nice if they brought back this model of the favorite but had a zip closure like right here I never have any problems with any of my bags like flipping over and all of the items falling out but it would be really nice if they did put a zip closure here for added security so just so like people's like hands don't just flip up the bag or something I don't know just for added security um, but anyway if you like today's video just make sure to give this video a thumbs up chat with me in the comment section down below and if you are not yet subscribed, just go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, my loves, I will talk to you all later. Bye. Mwah.